Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com. And in this video, uh, I'm going to show you why you should be backtesting uh, fundamental analysis, Forex fundamental analysis, um, to really uh, give you an edge in, in your trading and uh, one of the quickest ways you can do that. And uh, if you're new to Forex fundamental analysis and maybe you're not or you think that Forex fundamental analysis is a bit of mumbo jumbo, is a bit of nonsense and price action is all you need to know, um, I'm here to tell you um, that I strongly disagree and here are the reasons why now with obviously proof now. Um, so in uh, at the beginning of uh, 2022 last year i released a, a webinar right you can search for this webinar uh, just go to my channel at the top you've got a search button and uh, search bar and this top one here uh, is fundamental analysis webinar three steps to generating a profitable for forex trade ideas which was released 11 months ago but i actually recorded it maybe about a year before that maybe released this about a month or two after i actually recorded it to the public it was a private um webinar and in that webinar um if you click on it i really kind of break down why in fact uh, the, the the dollar was a buy and the euro was a sell right and if you're buying the dollar on the euro dollar then um in fact your you know your directional buy should have been uh, short and um you know that, that video goes into detail so i advise you to click on that video right there um or i'll leave it in the description box below or maybe a, a link at the top right hand side there should be somewhere and um, you'll understand just by look, watching that video and studying that video not just watch it really study it um, you know how and why prices did this you know this downtrend for about a good uh, nine months right um, and then we had this move uh, to the upside right about from around October, November, uh, all the way to where we are currently. And again, fundamentally, you know, a, a lot of traders would say, um, you know, from a, from a technical analysis perspective, well, you know, um, this was some sort of Elliott wave or, you know, price action tells you all, but really price action follows um, uh, fundamentals. And so the reason for this, this major move to the upside was a number of things. So first of all, we had uh, Fed pivot rumors. Fed pivot rumors, um, if you don't know what Fed pivot is, basically the Fed were, there were rumors that the Fed were pivoting from uh, hiking rates uh, to, to basically holding rates, right? And potentially looking to cut rates into, 20, at, to, into the end of 2023, 2024. And so the market started to readjust its expectations, right? For rate hikes, which typically appreciates a currency to now um, revalue the dollar, yeah, against the euro based on uh, rumors that the Fed are uh, coming to the end of their hiking cycle. There was also, oh, there was also, um, rumors uh we'll say rumors but there was lower inflation readings right coming in also as well which um was uh, i guess backing up the idea of the fed pivot rumors uh, because if lower inflation comes in then the fed are le less likely uh, to actually hike rates right and there's also recession fears the economy was contracting there were economic indicators um, and the market was really kind of getting ahead of itself, which it does with fundamental analysis, right? It prices in uh, the future. Also going against the dollar was uh, China's zero COVID policy, which was um, which is actually uh, helpful for uh, the euro and not so much the dollar, uh, as it creates more, more of a risk on environment. And in a risk on environment, money um, can flow out of the dollar into uh, more riskier risk on assets like commodity currencies, the euro, the pound, um, and a lot of emerging market um, emerging yeah emerging market currencies. Um, euro seasonality in December, uh, typically in December, um, the euro does rally. Um, there was a graph, I couldn't find it, but I'll probably try and find it after this video, where um, over the past, I think maybe 20 years, uh, the euro has, um, you know, uh, appreciated against the dollar, um, I think maybe 18, 17 times out of those uh, 20 years. And so uh, there was seasonality, but, and also as we're talking about um, seasonality, there was also euro warm a winter right which helped with energy prices so as we were going into the winter there was um the thinking that 
if Europe have a cold winter due to um, um, issues with obviously Ukraine and Russia and Russia, um, you know, turning off the uh, uh, certain natural natural gas or restricting natural gas anyway, um, it was going to be a problem in Europe and Europe were going to be the most affected, right? But that actually didn't occur in terms of the, water, the, the, the cold weather. In fact, it was warm weather, which meant that the economy was less reliant on, um, on energy costs which then helped with um, the economy avoiding a recession. So the market has to kind of price that in. And again, this is all, um, you know, being um, happening in the background beyond, you know, a price chart, which, you know, we were aware of in the uh, in, in my trading 180 mentoring uh, group. Now, um, back testing how to back test first thing first thing you want to do is basically just go back through any of my fundamental analysis video webinars see what i said and see what occurred right you have a year's worth of data right there um i say a year's worth of data but you've got a video that was created uh a year ago right and you can see pretty much what happened you know um a year later and so or at least nine months later um, on, on the update. And so a lot of people tend to disregard a lot of old video old videos or older videos because they think that they, it's not relevant. But with fundamental analysis, it's relevant. It's always going to be relevant. It's, it's evergreen, right? It's how the markets work. So whether a video was created six months ago, nine months ago, even three years ago, when it comes to fundamental analysis, as long as it's the correct fundamental analysis, the data is still relevant. I'll give you an example. So this is a video that I created three years ago, Forex Fundamental Analysis, full course, Euro dollar strategy under 60 minutes, right? And I created a video where I went through month on month throughout the whole of 2019, the fundamentals, the basic fundamentals, looking at uh, GDP and inflation, right? And the effect on interest rates, again, with the dollar, yeah? And month to month, exactly what was happening and what was happening with price yes it's a three-year-old video but the same uh, concepts and the uh, way that I was approaching the market back in 2019 is exactly the same as I was using in 2022 yeah and the same result was happening so again we go back to uh, 2019 right let's go back to 2019 and I was and you'll see in that video I was talking about um, you know, shorting the euro dollar and why you should go short in the euro dollar. 2019, beginning of 2019 was here and 2020, we ended up down here. The money was made, right? And the bigger trend was made going short, yeah? And by the way, I made that video probably in 2018. Um, uh, or actually, yeah, I think I made it in, no, sorry, I made it in 20, uh, 2020 looking back on 2019. But for anyone who, um, you know, uh, wants to uh, go back to 2019 in fact and go back through uh, my discord uh, group all the information is there from 2018 where we were looking at going short in and around here so the proof is all there the information is all there and that's really how you back test fundamentals right go and look at what I was saying back at the time and see if it materialized over the medium to long term we're not talking about you know maybe this week right or you know this uh you know, this month, because in, with fundamental analysis, you can get maybe a month or two of potential pullbacks. But overall, we're looking at the bigger trend, the medium to long term, the three to six to nine month type uh, moves. That's what we're looking at. And that's how fundamentals plays out. Anyways, uh, hope that helps. Um, the links are in the description box below. Take care. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll speak to you soon.